Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe from the Gaming for Insight channel with you on my Lenovo Legion Go to show you the updates that are available in the Legion Space update for the Legion Space console that is available as of April 10th, 2024. We are specifically going to be looking at version 1.0.2.9. So I have my Legion Go here and I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Legion Space console. You can do this by selecting the icon if you have it in the quick task area on the taskbar. And I'll just get rid of the start menu there. And I'm going to go into settings just to confirm that I am working with the current version, version 1.0.2.9. And upon having the Legion console, Legion Space console open upon boot, I was prompted to update, so I did not need to go and find this update, but I can tell here in the general information that I am using the current version there, and you can also press about and see the current version information as well. So let's start with the first update, which is new controller and main unit firmware. And there is a long series of characters for this. So I'm going to go to controller and I'm going to scroll down and all the way at the end here, I can see the current controller version. That's for new controller 0240401A and the main unit 0240403A. And that is for the versions there. The next update is button mapping support. And this is going to be found within controller options. So we are already there. We are going to scroll up to button mapping, and then we are going to select edit. And this is going to be an interface that allows you to look at the gamepad profile and FPS profiles that you have set. And you have, and this is going to be the next update, the ability to add and edit layouts for gamepad and FPS mode. So if we go, for example, to gamepad mode, we can select current profile and we can add a template. So the default is set right now at Xbox button mapping profile, but we can add a template and we can name it. So we can name it test, for example. So let's do that. Select OK. And then we are going to be working with here in the upper left hand corner the profile is called test and we can look at the front view and the rear view like we could with the default profile but we can create this the idea is on a per game basis for example if you would like to do that and then you can just select the profile that you want to use the profile has been activated i just selected the a button and I can go back to the default one, selecting A, the profile has been switched. We can also do this with FPS mode. And so we will go to the same current profile, FPS default. Now here you're going to have your one, two, and three options as well. And this is not new, but if we wanted to add a game, so if you saw one of the videos on the channel for High on Life, and you want to add in those controls, that I provided in that video, then we can create the high on life game profile and we can then exit out of the keyboard there, select okay, and we can go about setting our controls for that game and then be able to switch into that if, if we would like. And then pr by pressing A, we are going to activate or switch rather into that profile. The next update is to remap almost every button to controller button, mouse buttons, keyboard, keys, and key combinations. So we can take an example. Let's go to our gamepad mode. Let's look at the current profile. We can go back into test if we want, activate that, and then we can view and edit the layout. So let's say that we want to provide a button for the game bar, the Xbox game bar that is installed on Windows 11. So let's just say we go to rear view and let's just take the Y3 button here. So I can select that 
And then we have the options to select from the controller, the mouse, the keyboard, the number pad, and we can also do a key combination as well. So if we wanted to do the keyboard combination for the game bar, which is going to be Windows G, then we can select key combination as I've done here, and then we can select the Windows button and then the G button, and then we will select Y to confirm the command, and there we are with Windows G. So now that we set that button for the Xbox game bar, we can close the Legion space console and then press the button that we program which is going to be on my right hand side it is going to be this button here and we can press that and the game bar will come up and now let's go back into the legion console and then let's exit out of the area for button mapping and the next update is you can change button mapping profiles from the right menu to any you have previously created and edited. So let's bring up our right menu by pressing the button here on the top above Y. And then we can then scroll to the controller area here. And as you can see for control or, or excuse me, console key mapping. We have controller mode and gamepad, and then we have our profiles here that we can switch back to. And so we selected Xbox button mapping profile. That's the default one. We can go back to test and then select view if we want. And we can see the buttons that we will have customized. And there's that right back button Y3, which is the one for the game bar console the game bar excuse me windows g so we can hit b there and we are back in the controller area of the legion console the next update is going to be the charge limiting option and that is going to be under general optimized battery charging so let's go to general here up top and we can then see the optimized battery charging and i've just gone ahead and selected this on all right the next update is the charge limit which we have discussed and then the next one is the added alt escape to the quick settings menu so we'll open up our right menu again pressing the button here above y and then we can go to the toolbar area here for system quick settings and as you can see the alt escape is the top row to the far left so we can select that if we would like the next update is added a link in the right menu help section that directs to the legion go community forum so if we select the help area here within the right menu at the very bottom we then see the Legion Community Forum is an option, so we can select that, and then it will bring up the browser and the Legion Go community area here. All right, the next update is driver updates were optimized a bit, and now the list and now lists some of the currently installed versions. So we are in our settings area here within the Legion Space Console. We're going to go all the way down to drivers on the left-hand side. And we can then check for update where driver update is. And the scan will commence for checking for an update. So we will let that run. It should just be a moment here. And as you can see, I do have an update that I can download for the AMD chipset driver. However, I can select this arrow here and look at the drivers that I have installed. The next update is optimize the FPS limiter control. It is now fully customizable on a single sliding scale to any value between 30 and 144. So I will hit the right hand menu button here above Y and here I will show in performance. So this is the top option on the left side of the right menu. I can then enable the FPS limiter and here is that scale. So right now it's set at 60, but I could have this all the way 
up to 144 and just using my finger to do that. So they're set at 63. And I can then select A using the direction pad and then go back and forth with direction pad left and right. So I will just go ahead and disable that. The next update is added a notification that the FPS limiter will be disabled when RSR is in use. So to see that, if you are curious, what you can do is go to the general settings area. So we were in performance and just the option under looks like the gear. At the very bottom here, you are going to see Radeon Super Resolution RSR. And if you enable that, and let's say you try to enable also the FPS limiter, we will go back to performance. The FPS limiter is disabled because we did just disable it. But if you enable it, there's going to be a notification that shows at the bottom here. So do look for that as I just try to enable this. So feature conflict, Radeon Super Resolution will be disabled. So we'll go back to the menu. So what's happened is the FPS limiter has been enabled. But if we go back to the gear under general, Radeon Super Resolution RSR has been disabled as a result of that. So if we want to return to having that enabled, we will disable FPS limiter, go back to the gear, Radeon Super Resolution option at the very bottom, and then enable that. So just to demonstrate that again, to let you see that menu, I will go back and then try to enable the FPS limiter. And there is the menu or the notification rather that shows at the very bottom. So I will disable that FPS limiter. The next update is optimized controller plug unplug notifications. So we can take a look at that here. Just exit out of the console. And I will just take off the right Joy-Con here. Okay, right controller is detached and the lights did blink there as you saw. And we can just reattach that. And right controller is attached. So I'll do that one more time to show everyone while Discord wants to load. Did not mean to do that here. So we detach the lights blink. And we attach, right controller is attached. That notification is shown. Make sure that is center back with. All right, and the next update is fix an issue where the Legion LR key were being invalidated under admin accounts in Windows. I did not encounter this issue, but that is listed as an update there. So that has to do with using the L and R key here, these two, while using an admin account in Windows. So let me just make that known that that update is provided there. I do also want to show, or rather say that in this update, there is a note on the on mapping the Xbox key. Future improvements will likely include the ability to map the Xbox key in per game profiles though you can name a profile for a specific game and switch to it manually already. These updates like the one above will also take quite a while. So there is likely, that's the key word, likely going to be some work with mapping that Xbox key, but we were able to just map the game bar at least to bring that up with the Windows G command. So if we at least want to do that, then we have that option to do that right now. Conveniently, the update supports that for us to do. And that is going to be our video on the updates as of April 10th for Legion Space, the Legion Space console. So I hope this video is helpful to those that download this update. So let me know in the comments what feature or update rather within this overall update are you most excited about i look forward to reading what you have to say in the comments about this legion space update overall now that we have reached the conclusion of this video let me share with you some important channel content you don't want to miss 
Gaming for Insight is a member and one of the founders of the Handheld United Discord server and YouTube channel. You can find me and other channels you want to know about on this server. So join us on Discord, see the invite to the server in the video description. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to these other channels for additional content on gaming, handheld devices, and more. Those are Gamers Generation, your friendly AI with a sense of witty humor that uploads informative reviews, tutorials, and more. OKS Gamer, you can find the latest and more than OKS reviews on gaming handhelds and benchmarks, as well as videos on performance with certain drivers. CPPC Tech, Known for his awesome mod on the ROG Ally, this channel has reviews and more on gaming handhelds and accessories. Windeck Tech. Find candid and informative videos on gaming and the tech space with gaming handhelds and more. Handheld Hardware. Formerly known as Project SBC, get the latest perspective from an astute programmer, designer, and reviewer on gaming devices. Now, wouldn't it be neat if all of these channels, including mine, all got together in one place for, say, a podcast to share our knowledge on everything handheld gaming? Well, as a matter of fact, we do. Subscribe to the Handheld United YouTube channel and don't miss our live weekly podcast that I host on Sundays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join in the live chat where you can comment on what we discuss and partake in our trivia nights. Links to the YouTube channels mentioned are in the description of this video. So with that, in the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I should go.